Hey everybody, I'm Delicia and I for one am so happy to be back here in front of you guys smoking a cigar. I know you guys have noticed probably that I have not been posting a lot of videos since the start of the year. I did do some comments on Instagram. I did get sick with COVID. It was awful. I'm so happy to be back into the swing of things again. So my apologies for not having posted a lot of videos. In fact, the last one that I posted, you probably noticed I wasn't smoking. <laughs> I was still coming off of everything. So again, I'm just super thrilled to be back. And and coming back strong, I actually have a very special five pack to be offering to you guys this beautiful Sunday. Um, I've done a couple now in conjunction with Padilla Cigars. And so um, I called up Ernesto again and I said, hey dude, I've been sick. I need something really special to come back strong. And he actually really surprised me because he has offered um, some amazing cigars for me, for you. I'm super thrilled. And so I'm gonna get into these beautiful cigars that are gonna be um, available to those of you watching, to a limited amount of you watching, I should say, because there is only a handful, I guess you could say, a large handful. <laughs> There's 100, 150 of them available for you guys. So make sure that if you um, see something in here that you like, that you don't procrastinate, because I can guarantee you they will not be available for long. So that being said, we have this beautiful, beautiful Padilla Anniversario 88. Um, I'm thrilled. I've been waiting for this. Um, I've heard it was coming for quite some time. And the really cool thing about it is that it's actually not available yet. It won't be available until the end of March for everybody else that's not watching, that doesn't have the special insight. So I feel very honored, very privileged that um, Ernesto was nice enough to share this with me and with um, those of you watching that would like to you know take part in this beautiful five pack so the 88 anniversario is a celebration cigar one that is um pretty amazing um i'm i've smoked this is my third one now that i've smoked and can tell you that the flavor profile is just amazing on this it has a kind of cubanesque feel to it which is very appropriate because inside the actual box of these babies, you'll find a beautiful photo, very vintage, very cool of Ernesto's dad and Ernest Hemingway. So um, being an Ernest Hemingway fan, I actually visited his home in one of my Cuba trips and it was like the, one of the coolest experiences. So when I saw that, it just kind of put it all together for me. And it's like, if you feel like you're smoking something nostalgic, if you will, the flavor profile is beautiful. You get underlying notes of cedar. It starts off with a pepper blast to it, kind of a pretty much a black pepper, a little bit of the lighter pepper in there, but more so black pepper. It develops and you pull um, a little bit of earth to it. You get um, not a lot of nuttiness to it, but just a little hint, but definitely pick up the cedar and the earthy notes, the pepper. It's just a really balanced, again, um, I could see the cigar pairing with a number of things very easily. You can pull out a lot of different flavor notes as you smoke it down, even a little hint of citrus in there. So really, really nice. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful cigar and a beautiful box. So the story with this one is actually, it was supposed to come out last year. It's made at AJ's factory in beautiful Esteli, Nicaragua. It's supposed to come out last year, but then COVID happened. And so it actually has been sitting there, already rolled, already blended, all that stuff. Um, sitting there for uh, about a year waiting to be released to all of us to smoke and um, so there's that extra aging on top of the already aged tobacco in this cigar that's anywhere from four to six years depending on you know which um, leaf variety is in here so it happens to be a Nicaraguan puro it has the very flavorful criollo and it also has corojo and then it has the super rare pelo de oro strain right from cuba that actually was a seed varietal that um, was almost extinct for a while so it's a really cool story and just um, a really beautiful offering and i'm very excited again to be uh, among the first to smoke it and definitely the first to offer it to all of you so Thank you so much, um, Ernesto, to Padilla Cigars for offering this exclusive, um, you know, five pack for us. So again, I'm very excited about that. I'm a geek. You guys know me. I totally geek out on tobacco, but this is really, truly a very special cigar. So um, if I were you and I was watching, I definitely wouldn't um, procrastinate because as I mentioned, there's only about 150 of these five packs available for you guys. So just a beautiful cigar with a lot of history and, um, yeah, I couldn't be more excited. It just, it smokes so well. And um, 
like I said, it just, it can pair nicely with a lot of different things, or you could smoke it just all by itself with a glass of water and you'd be happy because it has a lot of good balanced, beautiful notes to it. Mm. Just love it. So moving on. So this is kind of a, a rarity in the five pack case because we have one cigar, but three different Vitolas. So this cigar is why the five pack is limited. This particular batch of these Padilla vintage reserves were, it was kind of one of those things that you would imagine getting this story on a card in one of your um, Pravada Cigar Club boxes. It's like this particular batch was almost like it was forgotten. <laughs> so these are made at the infamous Raices Cubanas factory in Honduras, um, home to many award-winning cigars. They make some incredible cigars coming out of that factory. This particular batch, as I mentioned, was kind of like forgotten. So two and a half plus years of this batch of, of the Padilla Vintage Reserve, which by the way holds um, several 90 plus ratings in some of the different cigar magazines floating around out there. So it's a fabulous cigar, a lot of um, just really nice flavors that come through. But this particular batch again was um, basically found there. It had been aging two and a half plus years. Um, one of those little special treats, hidden gems. I love when that happens. Um, but as I mentioned, three different Vitolas. So you have a Robusto, a Toro, and then a six by 60. Um, my challenge for those of you watching who choose to order this five pack, I would love to hear your feedback as to which of the three different Vitolas you found to be your favorite for this particular blend. Um, I know mine, and so I'm curious to hear yours. Although you can't go wrong with any of the three different Vitolas, they all offer something slightly unique, even though it's the same blend. Um, I think you guys will, will know that when you smoke it in a different Vitola, sometimes you pick up a little bit more of a certain nuance, a certain note, and um, depending on if you do a pairing with it, it kind of changes the experience slightly. So I love when that happens. This one, as I mentioned, um, just some beautiful notes to it. So you are gonna pick up the leathers, um, you get a nice nutty profile, and then that kind of like a vanilla spice that trickles in. So just really, really nice profile on this one. Um, it does have my favorite wrapper, which is that San Andres Mexican wrapper, and it is a nice little box press baby. So something a little bit different and definitely something that you don't wanna miss out on. So as I mentioned it now, I don't know, several times, this particular five pack, there's only 150 available. So make sure that you don't waste time on that one. <laughs> but these are gorgeous and um, I really like the Vintage Reserve. It just, it has, it's, it's so appropriately named it has that vintage -y feel with the leather. And then especially when you, when you first light it up, you get these beautiful aromas, that nice welcoming, you know, leather bomber jacket type of feel to it. So just a real treat. And again, these um, three different Vitolas. So something for, something for everybody. Um, I've been surprised in the recent months. Um, you guys know me, I'm not a huge fan of the larger ring gauges, but I've been pleasantly surprised. I've smoked a couple larger ring gauge cigars in the past few months that really surprised me. I like them and it's not my normal um, go-to size for sure. But um, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like expanding that now. I can't say that only Lanceros anymore because I have smoked some of the larger ring gauges and I've found that they do offer uh, some good flavor when done correctly. And this one is done correctly. So really, really nice. And last but not least, we have the beautiful Padilla Finest Hour Sun Grown. So this one made my top 10 list of cigars for 2020. Um, as I mentioned in that video that I did, it was a really tough year to select uh, like a top list of cigars. There were so many good cigars. This one made the list, this Finest Hour Sun Grown done by AJ and Ernesto Padilla together. Um, wow, just an incredible cigar. I love this cigar. It's perfect for any time of the day. You can do a number of pairings. I like it with coffee, of course. You can do this with scotch. You could do this with rum. You could do it with water. You could do it with a Coca-Cola. It's a beautiful cigar. It has a tremendous amount of flavors. Um, I've just, I've talked about it before, but I will give you an up close look at this one. It does have a Nicaraguan Habano binder to it. It's also wrapped in a beautiful Nicaraguan sun-grown wrapper and then it has uh, Nicaraguan filler so you get the sun-drenched cedar, you get the cocos in it. It has a nice woodsy kind of a little 
little hint of citrus and then the black pepper, all of those mixed up and balanced perfectly. So it's such a treat for the palate. Uh, something that I've mentioned it, um, actually I was mentioning it to Ernesto directly that normally um, this particular blend is not one that I, I like um, the most like in comparison to like a Maduro or a Connecticut, but I really found that the Sun Grown in this finest hour just really spoke to me. I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful blend. And um, I just love how it smokes. And I love that you can pick it up any time of the day and it just really does the trick. So um, to go over the five pack once again, cause I know it was a little bit different this time. Um, it's three of the same blend in three different sizes, the Padilla Finest Hour Sun Grown. And then of course the real gem here is the Padilla 88th Anniversario, which again is not available yet. So it's only available here. Um, just a really cool little treat. So this particular five pack is offered at $49.99. It gets shipped right to your door and um, it's a steal. I mean, tremendous value, tremendous cigars coming at you and again, limited. So you will not be able to get these particular ones after this, um, as far as this batch of vintage reserve. So a really special treat. And again, I'm so happy to be sharing it with you guys back to normal, back to smoking cigars, all of that fun stuff. So I do hope that you guys are doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, enjoying your 2021 year. I hope it's a very great one so far for all of you watching. And again, thanks so much for the support, for the well wishes, for um, all of the wonderful comments that you guys continue to post. And I would be anxious to read your feedback once you guys get these five packs, again, that challenge of letting me know which one of these three Batolas in the Vintage Reserve was your favorite. I would really like to hear that feedback from those of you watching. And of course, um, your thoughts on any and all the cigars that I mentioned. So thanks again and have a fabulous rest of your day. And don't forget to click on the links below to be connected directly over to the Padilla Cigar website so you can order your five pack. Thanks so much. Cheers.